Hello and welcome to this learning video. As I said that we will be continuing with the examples of rule number 3. So here we have uh, another new example on rule number 3. So let us see what is this uh, problem is all about. So as you can see that we are given a problem solve. So we have right hand side not equal to 0. So we have to find CF as well as PR. Okay. So what is CF? So to find out CF you have to start with the given PD is the given PD is this and then you have to write in terms of operator D. So this is D square minus 4 D dash square D dash square operating on Z is equal to 4 X by Y square minus Y by X square. Okay. So this is the problem we have. Now write down its auxiliary equation without wasting time. Its auxiliary equation is what is it? m square minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore m is equal to plus minus 2. Therefore cf is equal to what is it? 5 1 y plus 2x plus 5 2 into y minus 2. So this is my cf. Actually these things uh, you can do uh, on your own because you are smart enough to now write down the complementary function. So let us see the pi. So what is pi? pi is 1 upon what is it? d square minus 4 d dash square operating on 4x by y square minus y by x square. So as you can see there are two terms. So what we are going to do is we are going to separate these terms and we'll write it as uh, like 1 upon d square minus 4 d dash square into 4x by y square minus 1 upon 1 upon d square minus 4 d dash square into into what y by x square Okay, if you want, you can solve it uh, by uh, one by one, taking this is as pi1, this is as pi2, and then solve pi1, pi2. Or if you are smart enough, you can solve it simultaneously. So let us see this. So pi is equal to, I hope it is visible. So let me use the another pen. So pi is equal to, what I can write here is, uh, I can now see here. The first one, the power of x is 1, power of y is 2, okay. So, power of x is 1, so uh, here m is less than n. So, if m is less than n, what we can do is, we can just uh, expand this in terms of d upon d dash, right. So, <clears throat> I can write this as 1 upon I will, I will take, uh, I will just uh, common out uh, d dash square outside minus 4 d dash square. So it remain with 1 minus d square upon 4 d dash square. Okay. Into 4x by y square minus one upon now here here we can take d square outside and it is like one minus four d dash square upon d square into y by x square right so now you can take this to the numerator so when you take this to the numerator it would be like minus one upon four d dash square it should not look like 12 this is d dash square into 1 minus d square upon 4 d dash square power minus 1 into 4x upon y square minus this is 1 by d square into 1 minus 4 d dash square by d square power minus 1 into y by x square. So as you can see here uh, which formula will, uh, which binomial expansion will use, minus into minus plus, so all the term will be plus. 
Now, if you look at the power of x, power of x is 1. And we are taking the expansion in terms of d by d dash. So, how many terms will be? Uh, we will write we will write only one term because the rest of the term will gives you zero when we operate it on x by y square so this is minus one upon four d dash square so its expansion is one plus d square upon four d dash square plus no need to write down further terms into 4x by y square this is just for this term now for this minus 1 upon d square into 1 plus 4 d dash square by d square plus no need to write down further terms because second order derivative onwards will contribute to 0 okay now after this you can just operate all the terms on the terms we have on the right hand side or on the functions we can apply so it is like pi is equal to so what is pi pi is equal to minus 1 upon 4 d dash square into what is it 1 into 1 into 4x upon y square plus 1 upon 4 d dash square into what is double derivative of 4x by y square so 4 by y square is constant and integration of sorry derivative of x two times is zero with respect to x okay and the rest of the term will be zero only so no need to write minus what is it one upon d square into again it is like one into this so this is y by x square plus four by d square now what this d dash stands for this d dash stands for derivative with respect to y two times so derivative of y with respect to y one time is one and two times is derivative of one is zero so this is zero okay rest of the term is all contributing to zero so we remain with now this is zero so this is minus one by four into what is this one by d dash square means double integration of 4x by y square dy square minus this 1 by d stands for double integration of y by x square dx square. So we have this now. So if you can take this common, so this will get cancelled. So this is minus of, you can take x outside. What is integration of 1 by y square minus 1 by y dy. Okay. And this is integration of, I can take uh, y outside, one integration of 1 by x square is minus 1 by x dx. Now again you have to take the integration. So I am writing here now, minus minus become plus, what is integration of 1 by y dy? Very well known integration, log y minus, minus minus this again plus, so this is y into integration of 1 by x dx is log x simple now once you get this you just need to write down the general solution so what is the general solution the general solution is therefore the complete or the general solution is complete solution is what is it yes cf z is equal to cf plus p i so what is my cf do you remember what cf we have found out we have a problem of uh, 1 minus plus minus 2 so this is 5 1 of y plus 2x plus 5 2 of y minus 2x plus pi is x log y plus y log x where where what where 5 1 and 5 2 are arbitrary functions arbitrary functions so i hope this uh, problem is clear to you if this problem is clear to you and if you want we can take more example like this okay so i hope this is clear to you and uh, we'll see the problem during the live session 
so where we will solve problems okay and if you have any doubt so we can rectify in this okay so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you